Katie Kalanka. I um, mostly am a mural painter, but mm -hmm. I also do uh, smaller paintings as well. My name is David Denniston. I'm an oil painter, um, an artist that I, my studio is at 400 West Rich. I've been there for about 10 years, and now I'm doing a lot more painting at this kind of point in my life. So, where's your like your favorite murals? Um, I I think probably my favorite one is uh, one David actually helped me with mm -hmm. uh, last summer. Um, that's on the back of River and Rich, yeah. and that one is I think seventy or eighty feet long and fourteen feet yeah. tall. And it's like three sections, right? Yeah. Of the wall. That's sick. Yeah. I looked at it today and it's a lot of details. I love it. Yeah, yeah it was the, yeah. It was super fun. And it, uh, the best view from it, uh, view of it is from the top of the garage. Yeah. Did you go up there? Yeah. I did go up there. I took a couple it's pictures better. of it. It's really nice. <laughs> it's like a lot to see at once. <laughs> How long did it take you to do? Like a month. A month? Wow. That did was like prepping it and okay. getting it on there and painting it and then protecting it. Yeah. Like, it just, just it keeps going. It's, yeah, it's it was a lot of surface. It's a very physical thing. And labor, yeah. Labor I freaking a, bet. Yeah, priming alone took us, like, half a week. Half like, a maybe week. four days. I can't, I can't remember. It, it took a long time. Because we had to, like, tape it. We had to prime everything. Yeah, I'm going to say. A couple, I think we did two coats of primer. Two coats of primer? Yeah. Did you have to let it dry, like, overnight or something, and then mm -hmm. two more days to do that other thing? Yeah. But it's just, it's like a lot of surface to cover. Where did you get your inspiration for it? The uh, inspiration, so it says Ad Astra Per Aspera, mm -hmm. which means to the stars through challenges. Yeah. Um, and then there's two pairs of feet walking on a tightrope. Yeah. So the idea is that like, for two people to balance on a tightrope is like really uh, difficult. Yeah. And it requires like a level of cooperation that um, mm -hmm. is it, like artistic cooperation that's like really difficult to achieve but when you do it's like something greater than either person could accomplish on their own mm -hmm. and it's kind of like a metaphor for like collaborative art and yeah. like how like working it together has to be we can work kind of a flow kind of a dance yeah mm -hmm. and how when you like work with others um and you find like that creative like uh cooperation you're able to do better things than you can mm -hmm. by yourself I, I got a lot of practice just like mm -hmm. with like coverage spray paint when I worked at Scare Factory because mm -hmm. we would use that um, as like a regular art supply for yeah. painting things. But it wouldn't be like mural work, it mm -hmm. would be set work. Yeah. So like for like shadows, mm -hmm. like yeah. background areas, mm -hmm. and like making things look dingy and stuff is the kind of painting I would do a lot of there. Yeah. How did you get started at Scare Factory? Like what um, made you want to? Um, well, I always really love to do special effects, mm -hmm. especially, like, injuries and gore makeup. Mm -hmm. So, um, after college, when I moved here, mm -hmm. I met the art director, and, um, I told him that I would be really interested in working the there, so there, yeah. I got a physician working there, and, um, he ended up, like, personally training me, so I worked there, I think, like, three or four years. Yeah. Um... But I learned a whole lot about, like, also large-scale painting and um, mold-making and mm -hmm. sculpting there. So most of my coworkers uh, had gone to art school yeah. and knew, like, How way more everything. than me. So yeah. I got, like, a really good second-hand education, education from my coworkers. That's the best way to do it, though. I'm mm -hmm. looking for second-hand education. Yeah, education and I was, best. like, it paid yeah. while I did it, too. I mean, I had to do a lot of sweat labor, but... Yeah. But I enjoyed it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How did you get started on oil painting? Um, <clears throat> well, I didn't oil paint till uh, I went to college. Mm -hmm. uh, so I, I got into art in high school, basically. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, I was always drawing from Day elementary one. school yeah. to middle school, which mm -hmm. you know, like superheroes and <laughs> kiss figures yeah. and stuff like that. And then I planted the eggs. And then I ended up going to CCAD. I mm -hmm. grew up in Michigan and then um, came to Ohio for Columbus College of Art and Design. Yeah. And, and then got a degree, a BFA there. Uh, but I took, although my focus then wasn't 
painting. Yeah. I mean, I took oil painting mm -hmm. throughout all my years there. Yeah. Um, and then I have continued to paint. But as I mentioned earlier, it's probably been the past 10, 15 years that I've... Really hyper-focused on it. Yeah, focused yeah. a lot more on it. Do you think getting an education in the arts was worth it? Uh, or, yeah. Like uh, a college education? Yeah, I do. Yeah. Like, um, you know, I wasn't really into the academics all that much. I just I kind of just grew up doing a lot of art, music yeah. type stuff. And CCAD, um, it was a very hands-on. Oh, you right. just had to go through and do everything. Yeah. You know, they didn't. You didn't have much for academics or anything. It was just like they, they like freshman year, they run you through a foundation program mm -hmm. uh, of everything they've got, and then you kind of learn wow. like what what I'm liking, and then yeah. you kind of go into what you lean towards, what you're leaning towards, and, you lean towards and yeah. just um, kind of gave me that work ethic, you know. Yeah. From, from way back then, to always want to kind of be producing stuff. Mm -hmm. That's, That's nice. what I'd say about it. That was the yeah. best thing I got out of college. Mm -hmm. uh, do you guys ever collaborate on your works? Yeah. 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 I think we, we do quite a bit. Like, mm -hmm. bounce ideas off of mm -hmm. each other and mm -hmm. then, um, you know, trying to get a show where we could kind of collaborate in an interesting way together. Like, uh, I know I saw the one at Strong Water where you did the flowers mm -hmm. and you did the paintings. I thought that was such a sick setup. Yeah. Yeah, we'd like to kind of do that, but on steroids. On steroids? Yeah, like, make, like, we want to call a show Terrarium and just, like, transform a space. So it's kind of, like, about, like, your, like, inner creative space. Yeah. As, like, a Terrarium where you, like, allow it to grow. Yeah. And um, so, like, uh, be, like, sculpture like flowers and like plants and stuff but yeah. well, like weird ones too like and then exotic um, and all that jazz yeah and then the combined with yeah. paintings and maybe like um, a mural a piece and you said like mm -hmm. in, in Lights those paintings sounds. where she did the flowers um, yeah mm -hmm. like using house plants but yeah on like steroids just yeah, yeah over yeah. Scale, you them. know so they have these little things have become and then there's like, like monsters kind of in, within the yeah within and it. within the terrarium yeah. yeah like actual people are just like paintings of paintings people, that, people. Yeah. Paintings, yeah, and you have to find them like an eye spy kind of or they're just living in this environment yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. you come across them you know and then you're like oh my gosh yeah, yeah. So, Human dwelling with all these. Yeah. yeah. Kind of like all I of think that's so sick. <laughs> so, yeah, we're, we're, we applied it at a place to try mm -hmm. to do that, so we're just waiting on that. Yeah. Yeah. How do you bounce off ideas, or how do you get inspir inspired by each other? Kind of. It's mm, a good question. I think, like, we understand each other's aesthetics pretty well, mm -hmm. and, like, like, he'll, like, bring up an idea or something, mm -hmm. and sometimes I'll just, like, think of ways, like, I can help him make it happen. Like, mm -hmm. if you're, like, I want to do, like, a photo of something like this, and I'm, like, yeah. well, I'm available. Like, yeah. if you want, yeah. or we can if use my house yeah. and repaint it and, like, set up a, a set in there or something okay. for a photo shoot. Yeah. Um, I know you've done that for a couple of your paintings. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, like, there were, like, a couple shows ago... Uh, it was called Fact and Fiction. We did a lot of like room setups. Yeah. Where we take a room, a couple stage, like on a stage in it, like it's my safe. bedroom growing up. Yeah. Um, and then we'd shift it and paint it all pink, and it'd be like the girls' yeah. version. Girls' then, room, yeah. Yeah, so we, we, we have, you know, her house to kind of use it. So just <laughs> Your room. house is a studio. Yeah, yeah. that's sweet. <laughs> That's nice. Oh, yeah. Um, also, like, uh, you know, Katie will have, like, some, you know, cool kind of color combos sometimes mm -hmm. with, like, plants or flowers that mm -hmm. she's making where it can kind of push you to try different color different, schemes or yeah. things or uh, mm -hmm. things you wouldn't yeah. normally try. Cool. You yeah. Know, so you're sure, taking yeah. a little bit of that and just melding them together to see how it works. And David like always gives me awesome feedback um, on like mural compositions and yeah. stuff because a lot of planning goes into like especially a pretty like a decent sized one mm -hmm. like they'll want a really good rendering of it 
Okay. And he'll, like, help me um, with my ideas and give me feedback and stuff because he also ends up helping me paint them oh. a lot of the time, too. So, like, that's just sometimes another... Yeah, yeah sometimes. But, I mean, um... But, yeah, that's just, like, another way that we collaborate, mm -hmm. too. Do you like working with each other? I mean, I, it sounds like you guys do. So. Yeah. We, yeah. We've been doing Urban Scrawl together every year for... Since 2013. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, like, those are mini murals, kind mm -hmm. of. And uh, so we've been co just collaborating on, like, large, like, paintings like that together. Yeah. Like, really, since we... Yeah. You know, like, and then they auction off, off in, in, you know, the following year or whatever, and the money goes towards mm -hmm. Remington Arts. Okay, okay. Cool. That's, that's, and that's what's going on. Ten years, ten years, ever since. Was the one we were in one of the first auctions? The first one we did again? Was that one? Yeah, that's that was. Yeah, yeah. I remember like working on our first urban sprawl together. We like, I noticed that was like really easy to collaborate. Like we didn't really like get in each other's way, or like it didn't feel like. Someone was like always messing something up, or you yeah. know, just they like, go wrong. It felt like we, yeah. it felt like we had a good cooperation and like could understand like what the vision was we were going for. We weren't like seeing two different things in our heads. Yeah, yeah. so right. the vision was there. Yeah. Yeah, we kind of knew what we were going for. Going for. Yeah. At that point, it's easy. Yeah, Cause sometimes you're like collaborating with somebody, and it's like they want it to look different, different than how you want you it to look, and you don't even know that. A spot or something, and. You don't really have to fix <laughs> someone else's stuff, but it's not working. And then you're like, oh, this is nice. Right. <laughs> what would you say is your, like, best work individually? Like, best way you guys do work? My work is usually always around the human figure. Mm -hmm. So I'll let, decide on some kind of body of work that I want to work yeah. on for the next couple years. Mm -hmm. And I'll kind of, like dive in and keep like a consistency of 15 to 20 paintings that can mm -hmm. be made into a show but mm -hmm. all of them have the figure in it but yeah you know where this one the figure is still in it but it's uh obscured or covered mm -hmm. or in like uh really strong purple light grow lights yeah. and stuff so I've it becomes that. more of a, a mood and less about being like oh Who's that? Exactly. Yeah. Meaning, which I've been trying to get away from. From um, the... It being more uh, an impact image rather than mm -hmm. being about just trying to figure out the story behind. The painting. Where yeah. they could have been more narrative, I would say, a couple of years ago. Yeah. Than they are now. Around. Yeah. How about you, Katie? What's your favorite creative? Um, I think, like, I... I, I like to work in kind of a collage of styles. Mm -hmm. um, so some of the things I paint are like directly from references and, mm -hmm. and like photos that I take, but then other things I make up and yeah. other things I like imitate other styles mm -hmm. um, to like kind of give like a feel some of something depth. different. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I kind of like try to create um, depth with the compositions by like layering different like aesthetics yeah um that like I try to find like a through line between them this is what okay so I know you're doing this piece or you were trying to do this piece with the arms by the uh gr not garage but over mm -hmm. whatever it's underpass, called yeah. yeah underpass and mm -hmm. did you look at the area before you were like okay this this style would look good with this yeah definitely yeah. Is that like a big part, like the environment, a big part of it? Yeah, I would say that the environment heavily influences my composition. Um, yeah. And I, I try to create murals that feel like they not only like belong on the wall, but mm -hmm. the wall feels like it, it meets the mural, the mural yeah. too. So like, it's like something like when you walk by and you're like, oh, this wall makes more sense, sense. now than it did before even. One way I try to do that is by leaving some of the original surface to show through yeah. instead of just covering Bring everything. everything. Yeah. yeah, because I like to kind of let the surface tell its own story. story yeah. 
because especially like if it's not like a brand new build, mm -hmm. like you know, there's just there's something interesting Cracks about and, yeah like acknowledging the of it. Yeah. that it's like a wall and yeah. not just a piece of fresh canvas. Yeah, because like I remember, I can't remember who said it, but mm -hmm. I remember hearing someone say once that your choice of canvas should be as um, your canvas should be as carefully selected as what you put on it. So I try to like think about That's that really when cool. I work on murals because you're working on like a really unique kind of surface. Mm -hmm. It's like a way more a surface that brings way more to the table than a blank canvas. Yeah. So I like try to use that as inspiration.